I love animals and all their strange and different behaviors. But today you cannot think about animals without being confronted with problems. Endangered species, invasive species, overfishing. Of course I try to understand this problem and see what we can do. Every day I go to my studio in Manhattan and try to concentrate away from everybody, read, study and write my scripts. Butterflies. They migrate to Mexico and back. How do they do such a long trip without getting lost? Do they think? But they have the brain the size of a pin. Do you think? Do you feel? Mm -hmm. Of course your dog can think and feel, Isabella. Do you really think my dog can think and feel? How do you know? Well, there are many hints. For example, dogs have memory. They can remember their master after years of separation. What are all those jumps and barks and wagging of the tail, if not the expression of great joy? And dogs can learn. How many commands can your guide dog learn? Oh, many. A hundred, even more. Well, that for sure requires a sophisticated brain. But it isn't the same. I can build a rocket and fly to the moon. Men can cure diseases, learn languages, create yes, art. Yes, yes, yes. There are differences between humans and animals, but they are differences of degree, not of kind. Consider my arm. Five fingers. And now consider the bat's wing. It's still made of five finger bones. Even the whale fin has the same bones. One, two, three, four, five. Why can't the brain be just like the skeleton? Different, but the same. 